Hey guys, it's me Pam, also as uh, Miss 58. I know I have been MIA for quite some time, and I send my deepest apologies for that. Uh, but as we all know, life happens. So, but I wanted to pop on here with you guys and uh, to do a simple everyday eye look. And I wanted to create a simple everyday matte eye look using my Juvia's Place Nomad palette. Now, I've been having this palette for quite some time, and I have yet to make the opportunity to use it. Well, today's the day, okay? So stick around, and let's see what we can come up with using this Juvia's Place palette. Okay, guys, I am back. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as you can see, of course, my brows are already done, uh, and I've already moisturized my face. I won't be going in with any primer or um, SPF today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not stepping out today. So if anything, let's go ahead and dive in and finish up the rest of the eyes. So I want to go ahead and finish prepping my eyelids. And with that, I'm using my uh, Too Faced uh, Born This Way Concealer in the shade Medium. So we're going to go ahead and apply this. You guys see me looking off. Uh, I'm looking at my mirror right here. So just work with me today, okay? So let's go ahead and prime these eyelids. And I know that's probably a bit much because it don't take much. So anyway, let me take my little wedge sponge here. And guys, let me tell you about this little sponge. These are just like the uh, the little short white uh, makeup wedges that you see. You know, um, a lot of beauty places have them, hair places. Uh, just people using them, you know, randomly in, in applying their makeup. I ran across these in Walmart. And I couldn't believe that because actually this is the first time I've seen them in there. And uh, apparently they're there all the time and they sold quite often. They sell out. Okay. So again, this is the first time I've seen it. And I'm so mad because when I seen it, I guess it was just meant for me to see. It was only one pack of them. And they come in um, quite a few in, in a pack. Um, I can't be accurate, but I'll make sure I leave the link to that in the description box below, right along with everything else I use today. But they are much bigger than the normal white wedges, uh, makeup wedges uh, that we use. And uh, these are great. They're really great. So um, let's go ahead and set these eyelids. And for that, I'm going to go into some of my uh, Too, Too Faced, excuse me, uh, Born This Way setting powder. Because I do want to make sure my uh, eyeshadow glides with no problem. What I don't want is any uh, patchy look on my brows. I definitely don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and set this. And while I'm setting my eyelid, I'm also going to set my brow bone as well. Okay, I'm going to take the old trusty sponge again and make sure that that lid is set pretty good and the setting powder is evenly distributed so let's go ahead and dive right into the palette now again this is the first time I'm using this so I'm sure everybody has seen it it's got some beautiful colors in it and I just had not had the opportunity to use it just yet so this will be a first for me so the first color I think I'm gonna go into I'm going to work a little differently than what I normally do. So I'm going to work on, uh, usually I will go in and do the uh, transitional area or the crease first. But this time I think I'm going to work on the outer portion first and work my way from there. So the first color I'm going to go into is this dark brown here at the bottom. And I'm going to apply a little of this starting out. And everyone knows Juvia's Places palettes. A very pigmented which is good and I wanted to build this dark brown here up on the end and I'm applying this as if uh, I'm going in an angle towards the uh, lash line deepen this up just a little bit more and right now I'm just randomly placing uh, the color where I want it and then I'm gonna start bringing it in girly from the outer edge to into the crease area. Now I'm really grazing over my skin uh, with this brush in this color. 
Now I don't want to go too high uh, above my crease. Um, of course I have hooded eyes and I am dealing with mature skin here. Okay, now I'm going to take another random blending brush here and this is by uh, Moda. I did receive a couple of these in my previous BoxyCharm box. Can't exactly tell you what money was that I got it because it's been a while. So I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to blend that shade out just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to go into, I guess I'm going to go into this rust shade here and I'm going to apply a little bit of this into the crease and transitional area. Again, I'm using a light hand uh, with this shade. Okay, I'm going to go back in with the first brush I had, back into that dark brown, and I'm going to pat this again into the outer area and bring that just a little bit in towards the um, crease of the eye. And I'm also taking my blending, blending brush, the same blending brush I had previously, and I'm blending that out. And I'm really grazing over the top of it, over the um, rust orange looking shade I had just recently applied. Okay, now I think I'm going to try to do a little small cut crease because the neutral shade I want to put over the lid, I want to really stand out. So let's go ahead and take a little of the same concealer I used. Uh, on my eyelid and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this on the lid okay now that I've done that I'm gonna go back into this palette and the neutral shade I'm gonna use on my lid get another small blending brush here or another small brush I can pack this color on with, I should say. This is a random brush here. It actually is the e.l.f. brush. And I'm going into this um, neutral, nice neutral shade here at the bottom. And this is the color I'm just going to pack over, or over the part I just cut the crease for. Okay, so I'm going to go back with the same brush I used to apply the dark color. And I'm going to merge those two together so it wouldn't look so blunt. Okay, then I'm going to go back in with the orange transitional color and make sure I blend this over the top. Okay guys, I'm liking how this natural matte eye look came out. So I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes and a little mascara and I'll be back to join you guys to finish up the rest of the face. Okay guys, I am back. My lashes are on. Um, okay, the lashes I have on are, are my uh, Salon Perfect uh, lashes here trying to raise the pack up so you guys can see it. And they're in the style uh, 615. Um, okay, so um, let's get into this face. So I'm not going to color correct this time. Uh, I, this is my second time using the Juvia's Place uh, foundation. Now, I did get the shade in Nairobi 410. Although I like the foundation, I'm going to mix it. Um, with some L'Oreal True Match that I have here because I thought it was a good match to my skin tone but I'm going to use that just to lighten it up just a tad bit um, because even though I thought it was a good match I also think you know it's just a smidget too dark so I'm going to mix that with the L'Oreal True Match now I do like 
the uh, uh, Juvia's Place Foundation. I like the fact that it's it's kind of thick, but but not heavy. Okay, so and that's that's a plus. So that's the reason why I said too I wasn't going to color correct this time. I'm just going to go in uh, with the foundation and go ahead and put it everywhere it needs to be. It came out as a nice uh, shade color, I think, for my skin. So let's go ahead and apply this. Get my trusty flat uh, foundation brush here and apply this all over. The color looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my top of my brows with this foundation. I had just recently shampooed my hair and molded it. I'm just sitting here debating on whether or not I want to curl it today. Today, it just may be left just the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge here to soak up the rest that was on the back of my hand. Okay, and my sponge is damp. So we're going to go ahead and press this foundation into place. I do like the fact that it's very, very light and, um, well, not coverage because it's good in coverage. It's definitely good in coverage that I felt like I didn't have the color correct. But what I do like about, another thing I like about it that is not heavy, so it won't feel like, you know, your pores are being clogged and, and foundation is just sitting on top of your face. So it is absorbing pretty daggone good. I do like this foundation, so I will be getting more Juvia's Place. Yeah, this is a much better coverage, much better color excuse me and I, like I said it's a good color match but I just felt like it could have been just a tad bit lighter and that's the reason why I went in with my L'Oreal True Match. Now we're going to go in with some concealer here and I'm using two different shades. I'm using going back into the uh, Born This Way Too Faced concealer in the shade medium but I'm also using the e.l.f. Um, concealer and I think this one is in uh, I can't see it from here but I think this is in warm tan or medium tan or something on that nature again I make sure everything is left in the description box below so I'm going in with the elf one because it's a tad bit darker I'm going in with that one first adding very little you know honey miss 58 is dealing with mature skin here and less is more I don't like the cakey, excuse me, I act like I can't speak. I don't like the cakey, um, preppy look it gives under the eye area for mature skin. And so I try to use as less as possible. But I'm telling you, honey, I think Juvia's Place's foundation is getting ready to be my all time favorite over some of the others that I have. Because even with some of the others that I have, I still find myself having to color correct before I, I go in with the foundation. And this here, honey, um, Juvia's Place, you're doing it. You are definitely doing it. So let's go ahead and blend this concealer out. And down the bridge of the nose. I don't bother usually to uh, conceal the center of my forehead. And if I do, at times, it's usually what's already left on the sponge. I'm going to lightly tap this under the eye. Now, I love it when I don't have to color correct. That's one less step I have to worry about doing. And I don't worry about, have to worry about my face feeling like I have too much makeup on it. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to go into the uh, uh, Juvia's Place setting, setting powder and it's in the shade Kalahari. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this to go ahead and set under the eye. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and set down the nose and the chin. Okay, now that we've got that done, what I want to do is go in with a, another uh, powder here, and I'm going to use my um, Milani uh, face powder here, and I'm going to use this to set the rest of my face everywhere um, I applied the foundation. So I'm just going to tap into this and just sweep this all over. Okay, now I'm going to take this same setting, I mean, excuse me, face powder by Milani. And what I'm going to do is use this to define uh, on both sides of my nose, down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so I'm going to tap into this, blend this out just a little bit. Okay, now what I need to do is going to another Juvia's palette. And I promise you, this is not a Juvia's video, but I'm gonna go into the bronzing uh, duo that I had purchased and, and I bought this in the shade uh, tan. So I'm gonna go into this and add um, a little structure to my cheekbones, okay? And I'm gonna go into the deeper shade at the bottom and I'm gonna use very little of this, just enough that you could tell I do have bone structure. <laughs> I don't want it to be too prominent. Dust a little across the forehead and around the jawline. Okay, enough of that. We are almost finished, guys. So uh, I'm going to go into uh, my OPV uh, palette here, Born to Shine. And I'm going to grab a little bit of this blush here. And it'll be the pink one right here on the end. Apply a little bit of this right over top of the area I bronzed a little bit. Okay, now let's set some spray on this face and get rid of some of this powdery look. This is the uh, Maracuja Mist by Tarte. So we're going to go ahead and mist the face down. This is some good spray, I tell you. So, if you haven't tried it, guys, go ahead and get it. Now, I know I need to get the, the Morphe setting spray. I know that one is on my list to pick up. Let me add a little bit more mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't have many lashes at the bottom. And I very seldom do this. Uh, the reason being because it's easy to... Uh, smudge any any uh, mascara is easy to smudge but what I don't like is because I deal I'm dealing with mature skin and hooded eyes I don't want it to have my eyes looking like they're weighed down by the under eye area looking so dark um, so this is the reason why I very seldom use mascara on the bottom lash line but today I figured hey why not now, the only thing left to do is something with these lips. And even with that, it's going to be very, very simple. So I'm going in with my uh, ColourPop uh, lip liner. And this in the shade uh, BFF3. As you can tell, I use it quite a bit. It's very little. So I'm going to go ahead and outline my lips with this. Now, I'm going to also darken that up just a tad bit. And this is just a random pencil I get I got from my local beauty supply store. Now the shade I'm going into with is by um, LA Girl LA Color, excuse me. And this is a shade. It's an orange-looking shade, but I'm just gonna apply just a little of this over the lips. It's very smooth in texture. That I like. So that way it's uh, a little moisturizing on the lips. Okay, guys, 
this will be the finished look. You guys let me know what you think about the whole process. I love, of course, the Juvia's Place Nomad palette. Even though this was my first use out of the palette, I will be getting plenty more looks out of this palette, I tell you, because I love the, the greens and, and uh, the yellows. Something, these are colors I normally wouldn't gravitate towards, and I'm a neutral kind of girl, but these shades, honey, they are, they are awesome. So I will be creating more looks uh, using this palette, so stay tuned for that. Now, uh, I would love to know what you guys think of the finished look. Um, please leave all comments down below. I will make sure I use everything that I use is in the description box below. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Hey, don't forget to go over to Instagram and uh, give me a, a shout out over there and make sure you subscribe too as well. I'm under Miss 58 over there as well. And uh, with that being said, guys, you continue to have a blessed day. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.